Hi, this is Kara from KB Crochet. This tutorial will show you how to crochet a puff stitch. To begin, you're going to start with an odd number of chains. Today I'm starting with 11. I always crochet into my back loops to give the other side a more finished look. You're going to start by skipping the first two loops, yarn over, and insert your hook into the third chain from your hook. You're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into that same hook again, and pull up a loop. You're then going to insert one more time, so your third time, into that same, and pull up another loop. So you now should have seven loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. You'll then chain one. For your next puff stitch, you're going to skip the next chain and work into the following. You're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that following chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop. So you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert into that same hook a third time and pull up a loop. You now have seven, so pull through all seven and chain. That chain just kind of completes your puff stitch. You're then going to keep going all the way across. So you'll yarn over and pull up a loop three times in the same chain. And you can count each time in between. So you'll start with, um, after the first time you'll have three, after the second you'll have five, after the third you'll have seven. And then just remember to skip one chain in between each of your puff stitches so that you get that space in there. Good. So again, you'll yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, oop, I'm in a little trouble there, and pull up a loop. Then you'll pull through all seven loops. Oh, lost my loop. And finish with a chain. Good. Then you're ready to start your next row. There's a variety of ways you can do this. You can start with a chain two, but you're going to work into the spaces in between each puff stitch. For th so for that second row, that's not right away. You have to skip that first puff. And so when you do that, if you're like me, you'll find that chain two is just not quite enough to give you a straight edge on the side. So your other option is to still chain two and start with just a double crochet in that same space. Now normally that is how I start each row, but when it comes to the puff stitches, I found that that's a little too bulky to start that second row. So I start with three chains and then I insert my hook into that space in between the first two puff stitches from the last row and work my puff stitch there. Good, and then I'll just keep going all the way across. Now, if you want to change up the texture, you can do that by making your puff stitches smaller by using only three or five loops, or you can make it bigger by doing nine, or seven, oops, sorry, nine or 11, but seven is typically the standard. That's what I see in most patterns and that's what I typically use. So you'll just go all the way across then doing the same thing in the spaces in between each puff stitch. And that's gonna give you kind of a zigzag pattern. So the puff stitches from the first row will lean one direction, from the second row they'll lean the next. 
and they'll keep alternating to give you kind of like I said a zigzag pattern which you'll only see if you're doing rows you won't see that if you do rounds to finish I do a double crochet in that last stitch then you're ready to start your third row which is a little bit different from starting your second row because you don't have a puff right away when you turn it the best way that I find for my third row um, some people will want to keep the third or three chains but for me I find that two works best so the second row I start with three but the third row I start with only two because you're gonna do your puff stitch right away into that first space so you don't have quite as far to go on this round since it starts with a space and not a, a stitch a puff stitch so then you'll just keep going across working into the spaces in between each puff stitch the other thing you can do to change it up a little bit is to work into the eye from the previous stitch instead of into the space. So to do that, you're just going to work, oops, sorry. You're gonna need to start with a double crochet into the top of that double crochet from the last round. So you chain two and do your puff stitch there. Sorry, I said double crochet, but you start with a puff stitch right away. So right in that first double crochet you're then going to skip the space and crochet into your chain one from the row before and this is going to give you a stacked pattern instead of an alternating pattern so you'll get vertical lines of puffs instead of um, puffs that alternate this will work up as a more lacy or holy pattern. As you can see, the spaces are going to be bigger because you're not filling up that chain space from the previous row with a puff stitch. But it can give you some really cool textures if you don't mind the larger holes. Uh, when you're starting a new round, if you were doing this in the round, you would just do a slip stitch over to that space or over to whichever stitch you want to place your first puff in for the next row um, but this is a great stitch for adding texture to hats or to scarves or really to any pattern if you have any questions please feel free to send me a message through youtube or to leave a comment in the space below for more information and more patterns please follow or subscribe to my channel or check out my blog. The link to my blog is in the description for this video. Thank you. Happy crocheting.